Yeah, he's still sick at the moment. Um, I know the coaches are giving him a bit of stick about um, captainitis or something, caxtonitis or something they're calling it, because he's still sick from um, celebrating the win. But um, I heard he was sick during the week, uh, last week before the game. So um, I think the club's just given him a couple of days off just to get him back to you know being okay. I'm guessing he'll be named. So the thought, the open close is that he's going to be fine for the game. Yeah, yeah, all reports, he, um, he'll be fine. I think he was uh, much better today. I just think um, what he had, I don't think they wanted him to pass it on to anyone else. And, um, so they're just playing smart, but um, yeah, he'll be there this weekend. Panthers are a big challenge, obviously, top of the ladder and um, Premier, so, you know, how do you see that challenge? Yeah, they're, the, they're the best team in the comp um, at the moment and have been for the last couple of years. So, uh, so it's a good challenge for us. I feel like we... We've been really inconsistent this year and, um, you know, we've played um, good the last couple of weeks, but, you know, you want to test it by playing the best and they're the best, so uh, it's going to be a good challenge for us. Even without Nathan Cleary, do you think they still deserve the top dog status? Yeah, for sure. They're still a great team um, across the board. Uh, we know how good Nath is, but, um, you know, Jack Togg has come in and, you know, he's done a great job for them the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, they're still, um, you know, the best team in the comp for... Um, and they're still top of the table, so we, we need to be on our game to you know compete against him. How many times have you been to Yeah, I've been a couple of times actually to watch. Uh, I support the Western Bulldogs, so I go there a couple of times to watch them play. So um, it's pretty cool. I haven't actually, I've actually been on the field actually to um, watch the dogs run out a couple of times. So um, it'll be pretty interesting to play there. I think. I think it's. Uh, I don't know if the roof's going to be on it will be on well that's going to be weird um weird to play under a roof but you know i'm excited and i'm looking forward to it do you need to put much extra time into your preparation knowing the field that you play on oh maybe um i think we're going to have a captain's run there so uh, it'll be good to sort of get a feel of the field and um obviously it's oval oval ground so it'll be a bit, little bit different but we played on oval field before and um, playing on a roof might be a little bit different, but uh, it'll be good to just get a little feel um, captain's run and then um, hopefully we'll be right for the game. Do you think, does it lessen your home ground advantage over Penrith at all, or the fact that they have to jump on a plane and stay at a hotel and you still have to like you've got that advantage? Yeah, I feel like we should. Um, still in Melbourne. Um, I know we probably haven't played there, there much, but uh, to be honest, we haven't really trained much on Amy Park this year either with the FIFA World Cup coming up, so it's probably... <laughs> You know, it'd be similar to playing here as well. So um, hopefully we get a good turnout. I'm sure we'll top of the, uh, you know, top four clash. And hopefully, um, you know, Storm supporters can get out there and support us at Marvel. Nick mentioned before, it feels like there's sort of a bit of a rivalry between the two clubs. Do you feel that and just give the game any extra spice? Uh, oh, I feel like we get, compared to everyone, having a bit of a rivalry. But I guess, you know, we've been two, you know, two of the best clubs the last couple of years. And obviously they've, you know, back-to-back -back premiers, and you know we've been thereabouts um, the last couple of years as well. So I think when you put two teams against each other, two good teams against each other, it's always uh, makes it a little bit more um, competitive, I guess. But you know we're just looking to get a win against you know what we think the benchmark of the of the compers. I guess that would be uh, nice to confidence as well. Meaning, you know, when finals do come up, that that you've beaten them this year. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, but you know, we're just trying to focus on this game and. Um, get through this game first and like I said test ourselves against the best the best team in the comp and um, to do it at home as well so uh, we've got a bye afterwards as well so without looking too much you know forward we're really looking forward to you know the challenge that you know Penrith is and um, you know hopefully we can be on our game and make it a good contest. So what's Nelson been like in the uh, game that he's playing? Been playing in the back row and scoring tries and uh, yeah he must be up and about? Yeah, no, he's been good. Uh, he's been good for us as a team. He's been good for myself, um, having him on my edge. And uh, yeah, he does look a bit lively out, out on the edge. Um, having a big boy, I, I would hate to play against him, to be honest. So um, it's good that he's on my team. Uh, but he does a lot for us. Um, you know, he can scatter people and get quick play of the balls. And, uh, you know, he's skillful as well with his offload. So, uh, you know, I'm glad to be playing alongside him. And a bit of a work that he's put in. That yeah, he can move for a big boy as well. Um, so, you know, he's got all the skills. So it's, um, you know, it's good. It's a good, I guess, good to have him out there on our edge. And, um, you know, he's playing really well. And um, hopefully we can keep that form going. Um, at least, 
unless, sorry, uh, before you know Ali comes back, he, I think he's still a while away. So um, it's good to have a replacement like uh, Big Nelson on the edge. You mentioned the inconsistent form, which probably was typified in the game on the weekend. Like you guys were a bit off the boil, I suppose, in the first half, and then you mm -hmm. came home strong. So I guess you just need to see more of that for 80 minutes. Yeah, trying to put good performances together and in a row. That's our main. I guess focus that we've been trying to do. Um, we haven't been able to do it. Uh, I think the last couple of weeks has probably been our most consistent uh, run of games that we've had, and uh, we've had some pretty good wins over you know quality teams as well. So um, you know, but we're going to have to go up another notch. Uh, like you said, we were a bit patchy last week, but uh, we can't be doing that against the best team.